Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 19 of the web element series. Today you are going to learn how to create a really important aspect of a website in today's era. And you will just guess it by looking at it. The dark mode button. I was out of ideas and I was just seeing random things on W3 schools website. And at that time, like I'll even show you W3 schools. Okay. So they have this thing. You can see it here. They have this dark mode button and you can see it as exactly the same one simply because I didn't found any other button that would look good. So I just went with this one and today you're going to learn how to create this. So we should begin now. Obviously, first of all comes the file creation. So first we'll write this is episode 19 and obviously we'll name the files index19.html and the other one would be style19.css and let's use internal JS today because JavaScript code isn't that big today. So it's better to go with internal one. So I'll also close this. So I'll first of all change the title and I'll give it the title dark mode button. Okay. I'll also do one thing like for, we would also be linking the CSS file. It is a required thing. The next thing is we have to do another import. If in case you didn't saw my last episode of the experimental series, in that video, I told how to import icons from a website known as font awesome. Like they have really good icons. So I, quite a lot to use them and I also taught in that one how to make those icons have a glow effect. So this is simply a CDN of that website font awesome CDN is simply like it connects you to the nearest server so that you can get the icons at a pretty high speed. So I'll save it. And I'll also show you the website. This is the website of font awesome. Like I simply did one thing like I just found it and pasted the link here after using it so that it's easier to show you all. Like you can also change the color if you want, but I just prefer black. So to first of all, all we need to do is we'll create a div inside that div. We'll create a button. Like I haven't used buttons much in the videos, but today we have to like, there are certain more options instead of buttons. We can also use sliders or like make some other kind of buttons like the one you have obviously seen in your mobile phones but i think this would be enough so i'll give the button a class which is btn okay and then we have to give a property which is on click is equal to dark mode and we have to make it a function 
further on now we would be putting the icon here and as you can guess we all we have to do is simply click on this and you will get the icon let's paste it here and if i save it like i'll have to go back and reload once and here it is episode 19 html you can see there is a small icon there okay that's i would be later on bringing it for now i am just doing the work with the html also to just simply see how it looks what i'll do is an h1 tag and put some dummy text let's save it and you can see the dummy text is here now we would be working with css like i would be writing the javascript at the end so first comes body and obviously taking padding and margin to zero is one of the best practices sorry for this mistake again sorry i'll just simply rewrite it completely so first of all padding should be at zero and margin should be at zero after that what we have to do is we'll give it some color like the this is the font color not the background color and then font size i will give it a font size of like 25 no i will give it of 50 pixels and further on after 50 pixels i will give it a height which is going to be 100 vh which means full screen and then i will do display grid in case you haven't even seen me using this display grid you can i insist you should check the entire series of the daily targets because it's from a website called css battle that like uploads new challenges every day and it is a great way to practice html css if even if you have learned it and you know you are good at it still it just brings something new for you which you may or may not know so now the background color it should be black i am writing dot dark mode because this would be used in that javascript function now what we have to do is we have to put color which is going to be white and again something that you i am like 80% sure you most of you wouldn't be knowing this thing like circle half stroke like you can give css properties inside like this is the dark mode which is itself an element we are giving another element the properties inside that same because sometimes it doesn't work like dot dark mode space dot fa circle half stroke also this is the class name given straight away by that font or some website so we have to use this it isn't that tricky so we would be giving it color white i would be showing you its significance later on once i complete all this now i'll be giving some properties to the btn like let me save it and let me show you wait what's the problem why didn't it go to display grid place content center this seems to be a problem okay i think i should do items and it may work let's save it yeah it worked or maybe i didn't even notice it because i didn't realize that the font is so big let me take it to 25 like i'll give 50 pixels inside the btn because 
it can have some exceptional sizes so first i'll begin with it font size 50 pixels okay next thing border like you'd be seeing there is a little bit border there around that button and i would not like to have it so border none let's save it and you can see there is no border and the icon is bigger because icons are also considered to be a part of the font so you have to use font size to change its size now we have to give background transparent because obviously we don't want the background to be visible you can see currently there is a slightly gray colored square visible behind the icon but now it isn't and further on let's give it color black just to ensure that okay the color is not changing like i'll even remove this from here so that it doesn't create some problem afterwards when we are working with the properties that are for dark mode like we have given here there could be a problem because of that so it's better to remove something that could be a potential error now further on i'll also do one thing cursor and i'll make it pointer so that if in case something happens then we can at least see the button even if it isn't visible now what we have to do is we can simply give it some width okay we need not do that i was thinking of giving it giving the button some width and height and then making it to you can say and bringing the icon in the center of the button but we don't even need that because we can't even see the button in the first place so this is what it is looking for now but you can see clicking on that icon does nothing at all so we need js and you can simply write any javascript inside simply you can either go inside the body tag or anywhere i'll just write script okay and we can simply write inside this so i'll begin with function dark mode as we named it above here we have named that what the name of the function is now curly braces now we'll put a var which is variable element is equal to document dot body which means it affects the body ahead of this element dot class list dot toggle it simply means that if that button is toggled what should happen and we'll put parenthesis double inverted commas dark mode and now if we save it and it doesn't run the okay wait i made a mistake i had to write dark mode here now it will work and as you can see like as i said before let me show you what would have happened if i didn't give these properties here like in this absurd way because it is absurd to you you can't see it anymore like that is why i also put the pointer because previously i didn't had an idea how to do that to invert the color but then i came with the idea but i still thought that it is better to keep that in practice so now you can see when we click on it it turns white as per the text also like text is also turning white because we gave here color white i don't have an explanation for why the color wasn't going to the icon but 
we have cleared the problem so no worries so that's it for today's video also i'll put all that code inside the comment section if you want to see it once so make sure to like the video subscribe see you in the next video till then bye